rockets ushering you into Kargai heaven as the revs wind up like a crotch rockets. The F-12 TDF musters an additional 39 horsepower and 11 lbft of torque over the standard F-12 with the help of a new air filter box, revised intake plumbing, and a larger throttle body. Solid lifters replace hydraulic tappets. The resulting weight reduction allows Ferrari to add more valve lift to the intake cam profile and to raise the rev limiter from 8,700 rpm to 8,900 rpm. Variable length intake runners use telescoping trumpets within the intake plenum to shrink or stretch the runner length for optimized airflow. In the F12 TDF, Ferrari uses just two distinct positions short and long but future cars may take advantage of the fact that the position of the trumpets is continuously variable between the boundary conditions. Shorter gear ratios throughout the 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transaxle are augmented with quicker shift times. We project a 2.8 second blast to 60 mph on the way to a 10.8 second assault on the quarter mile. The always on nature of the big displacement, naturally aspirated 12 cylinder engine demands a delicate right foot on corner exit, but the pedal obliges with long, linear travel. When it's time to reverse thrust, a brake pedal with just as much fidelity activates a carbon ceramic braking system borrowed from the LaFerrari hypercar. Lighter, but still luxurious. Ferrari intends the F12 TDF to be a car that owners will drive to the track, at the track, and back home from the track. But in readying the F12 for regular track service, the suspension has lost some suppleness. Even with the dampers set to their more compliant mode, the F12 TDF schemes over humps in the road like a skipped rock. In city driving, the F1 dual-clutch transmission isn't as velvety as Porsche's or McLaren's gearboxes, particularly in off-throttle downshifts. Overall, though, the F12 TDF remains a civilized road car. While lighter micro-suede replaces leather and carpets have been removed altogether, Ferrari still fits a radio, navigation, and air conditioning. Ferrari stripped a total of 243 pounds from the F12. A chunk of that weight comes from reducing the amount of glass on the car by tapering the rear window and shrinking the rear quarter windows until the transparent section is no larger than an iPhone. Carbon fiber is now used for the door skins inside and out, plus the front and rear fascias. And while the rest of the body panels are still aluminum.